Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you may not know that I used to live in London, now I live in Chichester, and uh, I had a weird, weird night a few weeks ago that I'm dying to talk about because it was probably, I say weird, it's actually probably the best night of my life I've ever had in London. It's just hilarious, really. And in such strange times, we, I think we don't really get many of these. We don't really get many memories or things to talk about or, events or just moments there's nothing really happening on the regular so i wanted to make sure i definitely uh documented this filled you guys in because it was just uh, so much fun before we get going i do want to thank the sponsor of today's video which is nordgreen nordgreen are a minimalist watch brand you may be familiar with them from one of my previous videos where i rated some of my own date night outfits as you may notice i have kept some of the outfits and sent some of the others back thanks for the feedback some harsh so I'm very, very harsh. Nordgreen have sponsored this video, and if you don't know already, they are a Danish watch brand. They have very minimalist designs, and I think they're timeless and stylish, and they really, really suit my tastes because I, I really like sort of gold jewelry, and I chose to go for like a white face, gold strap, Nord Green watch. I just think it's gorgeous. I haven't really taken it off since I got it. More importantly, I have got a very large discount code, 35% off for Black Friday, and the code is LeahH35. That will get you 35% off of your purchase. Don't forget to use that code. The link will be in my description as well. And if you do find anything nice for yourself, treat yourself, or for a family member or a friend, let me know, tweet me, write me a comment. I would love to see what you choose because I found the decision very hard because everything's really, really nice on there. I also have a brown leather strap, which I use less frequently, but it's really nice for casual because as I said, I'm more of a gold girl. Their timeless watch collection was designed by Jacob Wagner, former head designer at Bang & Olufsen. So that came as no surprise to me because I really like that brand. I think they're super stylish as well. I love all things Danish, I do. They have sustainable and eco-friendly packaging and they also have a giving back program. With every purchase, they provide two months of clean drinking water and one month of free education to those in need. And they save 200 square foot of rainforest through their partner NGOs. Thank you so much to Nordgreen for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, Leah H35 for your Black Friday discount. Now let's get onto the story. Where do I begin? So I'm in a WhatsApp group called Kelly's Angels. Kelly's Angels consists of all the girls that have worked for Kelly Nahama. Before I went full time with YouTube, I used to film, edit and produce my friend Kelly's channel. Kelly is a, uh, a mum of three. She follows a paleo diet. She is really into like health and wellness and things like that and she's really into beauty as well. Christy, who you'll know from my Grease videos and just from like my life, she's like my best friend. She was the person who did this job before me, before she went full time, then I did the job and then I went full time with my own stuff and now, our friend Shu from Deja Shu, who you may recognize from some of my videos in London, having a Chinatown date with Shu, she now does that job. So I think I, <laughs> that's all the characters in the story. You've got Kelly, who's our old boss and really good friend, Christy, me, and Shu. So Kelly's Angels, the WhatsApp group. If anyone's unfamiliar with WhatsApp, it's just basically like a messenger group. We wanted to have a reunion because it's been so long. We normally do like birthdays, Christmases, all sorts of stuff, but with what's going on right now and like sort of lockdowns, we've not been able to time anything and it's just, it would have been breaking the rules and so on. As of a few weeks ago, we met up legally because the maximum number of people you can meet up with is six there were only three of us because Christy has actually moved to Mexico so she couldn't come. Sorry, Christy, you missed out on an incredible night, but don't worry, she saw all the videos straight after. So there's only three of us and the only other rule we had to think about was the fact that London locks down at 10 p.m. The plan was, was that Kelly was gonna surprise us so we didn't know where we were going. I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna make a really nice day of it because we're not meeting up until 7 p.m. So I 
got went into London, got my train, got my laptop out, did some work. I went to Soho House and had like a really nice time using the sort of desk space that they've built there. They've got this new thing called Soho Works. It's all very fancy. I made the best of the free teas that were going on. They even had Oatly inside my tea. I was like loving every little bit of it. After that, I went to the gym, did a workout, showered there, got ready there actually looked like this before leaving who looks like that when they leave the gym not many people guys had my lovely nord green watch on of course anyway i was bag lady though so i needed to go drop these bags before heading to mayfair which is where we were meeting kelly oh, it was so fun i treated myself to a glass of pinot noir and some olives from Shoreditch House because I was like, do you know what, Leah? You only live once. That's your favorite Pinot Noir and these are the only olives you seem to like because you're the worst Greek in the world who doesn't really like olives. But those ones are really nice because they don't taste like olives. So dropped the bags at Shoe's house, had a little drinky with her and then we got in the cab and we went to Mayfair to this place called Parc Chinois. I I that can't be how you say it anywhere posh always has a difficult name you can tell it's posh can't you because i can't pronounce it but it's like p-a-r-k park and then it's like c-h-i-n-o-i-s park chinois is that it it was beautiful we walked in and there was like a red carpet approach it like as you get into the restaurant this was about 7 p.m by the way we were running a little bit late and then kelly sent us a voice whatsapp that was really funny darlings i'm inside i'm ordering cocktails what do you want got in there it was just super fancy i had never eaten at a restaurant like this before because oh my gosh it's expensive but tonight was on kelly the cocktails did flow so we get there i thought i was dressed up like you know leather skirt white top leather jacket but kelly <laughs> was wearing like a leather all-in-one kind of dress it was stunning she had her like gorgeous jewelry on nice ysl bag which we, we were just like iconic 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 manifest this manifest this shoe looked gorgeous as well as she just always does so we sat down had some cocktails had a catch up and then we got taken over to our table where we were going to be eating there was a live jazz performer singing and she had the most beautiful voice. Like she just sounded incredible. I was like, oh my gosh, can you come onto my channel and sing my end card, please? Because I do singing at the end of every video. So we sat down and we started ordering our stuff. It just felt like, I don't know if I was in a high because we just haven't been out or done anything in so long, but I don't go out to those kind of places, mostly because I just, that's never been available to me. Like I can't, I don't really know how to explain it, but it was like, it was pricey. It was really, really pricey. It was like fine dining. I think Shu sent me footage of it on her camera of the stuff we ordered. I can't bear to tell you the damage on the bill. I just don't want to put that out there. Just imagine like the poshest restaurant, like it's so posh. We sit down, we're all eating our food and then suddenly a round of tequila arrives at our table and we were like, excuse me, we didn't order tequila. And the waiter was like, it was sent from another table. And I was like, who sent it? And he's like, can't say. And I said, oh, I think either me or Kelly was like, come here, <laughs> who sent the tequila? they said it was the those guys over there and i was like oh my gosh and kelly was like that is the first time in 20 years that anyone has ever sent a drink to my table and then she she was like that's never happened to me before what 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 does it mean and then i said girls this happened to me and joel once when we were in brooklyn someone sent cookies to our table and paid for them or something like that which didn't quite match up but i thought it was funny so the tequila we we did the tequila what's just happened we just got some of these <laughs> we don't know where from someone's just sent the, each of us some tequila <laughs> thank you whoever sent these thank you we were like <laughs> this is so cringe these guys have sent us this tequila and then kelly <laughs> was like okay let's send some tequila back to their table but a more expensive tequila and on top of that send it back with orange and cinnamon so that's her like way of doing tequila they were there was so many more of them there was like five of them at that table whereas we were a table of three 
So she sent the tequila back. Tequila arrives at their table. I, I can't see them at this point because I'm sat here. Kelly can see their faces and their reaction. So I'm just watching Kelly being like, have they reacted yet? Have they reacted yet? They obviously did their tequila and the waiter must have missed out the orange and the cinnamon, which is like the lit, lit squeeze thing. So it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal to me, but it was a big deal to Kelly. So then five minutes later, tequila arrives at our table so we're like oh, here we go again they've sent more tequila so we did it and then kelly sent shots back to them so we're in a tequila war like what the hell this i've never i've never even been part of this before Ke kelly sent the tequila back to them made sure that this time the orange and the cinnamon went with and then she was like gentlemen <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. She puts the, um, why am I doing that on my hand? I think that's where the cinnamon goes or something. You dip the orange in the cinnamon, shot the tequila, and then you bite the orange wedge with the cinnamon on it. It's really, really nice. And I do like prefer that to the salt and lemon kind of thing. Who would have thought it? They were just like, oh my gosh, like women have never sent tequila back before. Like you just don't really get that in places like this. <laughs> and I was just thinking to myself like, they don't know Kelly Nahama, do they? Hardly any of this food that we had ordered stunning got eaten because we were just too busy in this silly little tequila prank war with these people. I found out that they uh, like work in a bank or something and I was like, oh, typical. Nothing against bankers, but you know, I was just like, lol, of course they're out here on like one of their banker wanker nights out. Now it gets to the bit that is just ridiculous. It's nearly 10 p.m. and the restaurant are kicking everybody out. And when I say kicking out, I just mean they're saying like, okay, we have to close now, you, can you go? We had enjoyed everything about the restaurant, the, the taps in the loo were made of gold, like everything was just ridiculous. And I was like, wow, why didn't I enjoy London like this when I lived there for so many years? Oh yeah, because I didn't have money. But now I think once a year, we're gonna try and treat ourselves somewhere as fancy as this, because it was just such a treat. So we come out of the restaurant and um, I think one of those like banker people was trying to like uh, talk to us. We were just a bit like, you know, it's a girl's night out. We're not interested kind of thing. His name was Joel. I'll never forget him because his name was Joel. And I was like, oh, m my best friend's called Joel. So I, I won't forget your name. He was like, I'm not going to say who, but I fancy one of you. <laughs> to the three of us he must have been so drunk and we were we were kind of a little bit like loose too we drank two bottles of champagne oh my gosh the headache the next day i didn't know i reacted like that to champagne i did say to kelly like oh should we get some bubbles like should we get a bottle of prosecco she said something like do you like champagne and i was like yeah she was like oh thank god because she wouldn't drink prosecco <laughs> We come out of the restaurant, we're drunk, Joel's trying to talk to us, um, and I'm like not having any of it. And then Kelly sees one of these rickshaws go past, and they're playing the loud music, and they're cycling, and they're trying to get people to get a lift. I think they rely on drunk people, honestly. They, they're they so overpriced. Wait for this. So Kelly like runs over to one, and she's like, I love this song. And then she's like, come on girls, we're getting in the rickshaw. So we go in the rickshaw. Kelly says her address, like cyclists, all the way home. She's got no memory of this. And he was like, are you sure it's gonna be kind of a lot of money to get there? And she was like, it's fine. Like, you know, I really wanna do this. And we're playing the music, having the best time ever. Like, my, um, Nicki Minaj. She, like, Minaj. she wants oh, Nicki Minaj. God, I love you. Oh my God. Are you ready for my- Right, this is so funny. Okay, we are in uh, Green Park. Oh, no. Heading home, oh, we're taking a rickshaw all the way back. Okay, so Kelly, let's put your music on. Thing. Okay, I'm trying to. Okay, I'm Kelly wants to make a menage to the bank. Yeah cycling like we must have been in that rickshaw for about 10 minutes playing different music which we connected kelly's phone to we're playing it off her spotify <laughs> it wasn't until i noticed the street one and i was like oh this is where i used to have meetings with um the beano beano magazine and i was like i i've done a few little bits and bobs down here and then i was like hang on a minute that's in like east of central london why are we heading east when kelly lives in west london so i said to the guy i was like oh where where are we going and he said he said kelly's address and i was like can i see your map 
because this doesn't look like the right way to me. Ding, ding, ding. Thank gosh someone was on it. And I looked at it and it was the same address, but it was part of a different part of the city. So it was completely the wrong direction. I was like, oh, okay, let's stop here. We'll just take taxis the rest of the way. And he was like, oh, okay then. And then he said, okay, so that's going to be 150 pounds. We had been in this rickshaw for no more than 10 minutes. We were like, what? 150 pounds like bear in mind like kelly had just paid for us to have this like ridiculously expensive dinner and me and Shu were thinking like oh my gosh we need to, what we were trying to pay for it so I started getting my money out and then kelly like got money was like don't don't be so ridiculous and like threw it back to me and i was like oh my gosh there's no way i'm gonna let her pay for this but she did and he said cash or card so she put it on her card and then he said okay now 150 from you and 150 from you to Shu to me and Shu we were like what he's at 150 each and we were like what is going on and i was like shut up that is ridiculous you're abusing people that have had a drink and you're just trying to i was like 450 pounds for a 10 minute journey like you're off your you're absolutely out of your mind like i I, I couldn't believe it. I told him that I, I used some expletives and got rid of him. Kelly had paid the 150. We had not paid the 150 that we apparently owed. And then we started like taking pictures of him. We were like, we're gonna report you to the police. There's no registration plate on it. There's no like license plate anywhere on his like stupid little vehicle. And I actually remember saying to him, I was like, if you're charging 450 pounds for 10 minutes, like, why are you in this job? Like, surely you'd be like some sort of like Mr. Millionaire by now. Like, that's more than most people make in a week. What, what, what's going on? I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. Kelly got in a black cab home. Me and Shu got in a cab to North London, back to her house where we were going to sleep over. And we were just trying to process what had happened. We were like, how is that guy going around charging people like 100 pound a minute? to be on his, not 100 pound a minute, but you know what I mean, 450 quid for three girls to take a taxi trip for like 10 minutes down the road. Okay, let's bear in mind that we did make him stop at one point near Piccadilly and take some pictures of us and videos of us dancing. <laughs> But that's by the by, like that just goes hand in hand with the job, surely. We went home trying to process the night we had just had. It felt like we were in an episode of like Gossip Girl or something. Like it made me realize that like London can be fantastic, but also there are people out there that are like just out there for money to try and take advantage of people. So I thought in my head, I am gonna go back outside that restaurant and I bet you I will see that guy again and I won't forget his face because I can't forget the face of people that try and rip me off, all my friends off. And I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I might just like look out for him maybe give him a telling to, maybe try and contact the police. But there will be like a card record, surely, of that transaction Kelly did. And I'm worried about her card. I'm like, I'm worried that they've got access to her card because she put her card in that machine and they're doing that to people. Anyway, I know that's a sad ending to the story, but oh, it was, I was fuming. Apart from that, it was like the best night ever. It was so good. The food was amazing. The drinks were amazing. The tequila wars were so fun. Like, when was the last time we did anything like that? And it was just so great to catch up with Kelly and Shu, my good friends. Kelly's angels. Anyway, that's my whole story. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed. I didn't enjoy the hangover the next day, but I did enjoy telling my family about the ridiculousness of this rickshaw bicycle guy. If anyone sees him, seriously, can you throw an egg at him or something? Because it's ridiculous. That's all for now, guys. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to go back and watch any of my old videos, my London videos, Chichester videos, cooking, travel. There's plenty of videos on this channel, which I'm sure you will enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Lots of love. Bye. Find a natural sight. Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Everybody's dancing in the moonlight